Hello everyone. This video is about NTT and NTR settings in Yamaha ranges. NTT means Node Transposition Table and NTR means Node Transposition Rule. These are two important settings on the arranger which are used to generate different chords on the arranger. When a style is created, we would record only one type of chord in just one root key in the tracks. For example, C major 7th. The arranger can generate the other chord types in all the keys automatically while playing the style. This chord generation logic is configured using the NTT and NTR settings. So in this video, I will show you what are the different settings in this and when to use which settings while creating styles. By default, each track has its own NTR and NTT values. Since these default values are different for each track, the chord generation would be different in each of those. I will explain it with an example. I am creating a pattern in an empty style. I will record the same pattern in two tracks. Now the same pattern in this track as well. Selecting a different sound. The pattern is ready. We have the same notes recorded in two tracks. Let's preview it now. Going to the main screen. As we have seen in the previous videos, we can exit without saving the style and preview it in the main screen. The data will not be lost until you select another style or switch off the keyboard. Now they play differently when I change the chords. I will mute one of the tracks to listen to them individually. Here the same pattern plays differently in two tracks. This is because of the NTT and NTR settings for the tracks. Let's go back to the style creator. This channel has root trance and melody. This channel has root fixed and melody. These are the default settings for these tracks. So it means the chord generation would be different based on the settings here. The settings are different for the other tracks. This track has root trance and chord. This is root fixed and chord. Root trance and chord. This is a bass track. It has root trance and melody and it has the NTT bass set to on. I will explain this setting in a few minutes. NTT bass is off by default for the other tracks. The rhythm channels have root fixed and bypass. NTR controls the key change and NTT type controls the chord type. There is a special setting called guitar here. This activates a guitar mode in the style tracks. I have made a detailed video on it. The link to that is in the description. So I am skipping the guitar mode now. The other two settings in NTR are root trance and root fixed. When it is root trance, the interval between the notes as in the source code is maintained in all the keys. I will explain it in detail. If we record the original pattern in C major, that is the source code for the track. I am recording a simple pattern in this track. The default source root and code is C major 7th. I am changing it to C major to make it simple. 
I'll record a simple C major chord. I'll make it a broken chord to make it easy to understand. We would be using the notes C, E and G to make a C major chord. So it is in the order C, E, G. When we play the style, if we select F major, the notes should be F, A, C. It maintains the same order. If it is G major, it would be G, B, D. Let me record the same pattern in another track as well, so that we can compare the difference. This channel has root fixed and chord. It is the same notes we recorded in both the channels. Going to the main screen. I will mute the chord 2 track. We will listen to the chord 1 track alone. It has the settings root, trans and chord. This maintains the same inversion of the chord or in other words the same interval or distance between the notes as in the source chord always. It plays C, E, G in C major. F A C in F major, G B D in G major, E G B in E minor. Now let's play the chord 2 track. It has root fixed and chord. Now it plays the closest notes from the source pattern to make different chords. We have the source pattern in C, E and G. So in C major it plays C, E, G, in F major it is C, F, A, in G major it is D, G, B, and in E minor it is B, E, G. This is the effect of root fixed. So the root trans will keep the same interval between notes in all the keys, while root fixed will create inversions with the closest notes from the source code. Now the entity types. I am changing this track's entity type to melody. NTR is root trans. Most of the chords are played the same, but there is a small difference in some chords. The C minor 7th has a difference. When it is entity chord, it plays B flat, E flat and G. But this track with entity melody plays C, E flat and G. It sticks on to the melody pattern. This is the difference between entity chord and melody. So use entity type chord where you have chords and use melody when you have melodic patterns. The combination root fixed and chord would work with most of the chord patterns. There is another entity type called bypass. I am setting it to this track. This will cancel the chord type generation for this track. That means irrespective of the chord type you select on the arranger, the same chord type as in the source pattern will be played. But the chord root will change based on the key selected. Muting the second track. Now the C major chord is played, even if I select C minor, C diminished, C suspended fourth or C augmented. But if I change the key to F, it will start playing F major. Similar to C, here the F minor or F diminished or any other chord types in F would play F major. So the entity type bypass will cancel the chord type generation. As I mentioned earlier, entity type is for chord types and NTR is for the chord root. Since we had NTR to root trans, it was generating the code in different keys, but chord type is always the same. Now I am setting NTR to root fixed. This will cancel the chord root as well. So it always plays a source pattern as it is, irrespective of the key and chord type we select.
Now it plays C major even when I select F or G or D flat or D minor. Entire root fixed and entity type bypass is used for drum tracks where no chord or key changes are needed. It always plays a pattern as in the recorded one. When we change this setting to root fixed and bypass, the source root and chord label will change to player root and chord. This will enable the preview mode for the style. While in the style creator, when we play the style, the patterns would sound weird because the chord generation is not done properly here. So to preview the style in different chords, we can go to a track which has NTR and NTT to root fixed and bypass. The selected chord root and type in the play root page will be played. Another option to preview is exit the style creator and preview it from the main page. Now let's check the other options in entity type. The options chord and melody are usually used in variations and fields. When we create an intro or ending where there are melodic patterns, we have a problem. We would record the source pattern in one chord type, for example a major chord. But when you select a minor chord on the keyboard when you play the style, the notes may not sound correct. The problem here is which minor scale to play. Is it natural minor or harmonic minor or melodic minor or something else. For a song specific style, we can stick to the original scale of the song and ignore the other scales. In such cases, we use NTR root trans and NTT bypass so that it always play the same melody as in the source recording irrespective of the chord type. We have used this approach in the previous video which was about creating intros and endings. But if we need to have the same intro to play for a major and minor chord differently, there are two options. One is to record the major and minor chord in two different tracks and use chord switching option which switches tracks based on chord type. But this option is not available on the keyboard. It needs some software tools for doing that. We would use the NTR root trans and NTT bypass in this case. The other option is to use the remaining NTT type options. Let us check those one by one. Let me clear all the recordings and record a new pattern. I am recording a normal major scale here. The entity type is melodic minor. It converts a major scale melody to a melodic minor scale or a melodic minor scale to a major scale while playing. This is C major scale. It plays the original pattern. Now with C minor, it plays a melodic minor scale. I am changing it to F major. It is now F major scale. With F minor, it plays F melodic minor scale. So this setting transposes the third note of the scale to switch between major and minor scales. That means in the C major scale, the note E is flattened to form a minor scale. The other notes are not transposed. So it forms a melodic minor scale. When I selected a diminished or augmented chord, the fifth note was not converted. There is another option called melodic minor fifth. This is the same as the melodic minor, except for diminished or augmented chord, it changes the fifth of the scale. The next option is harmonic minor. This setting affects the third and sixth note of the scale and it forms a harmonic minor scale. C major. C minor. Now it is a C minor harmonic. F major. F minor. This option harmonic minor fifth is similar to the melodic minor fifth we just saw. It transposes the fifth apart from following the harmonic minor scale rule. This is natural minor. It affects the third, sixth and seventh notes and forms a natural minor scale.
it is natural minor note in all these cases we have the original pattern in c major scale based on the entity type settings it generates the appropriate minor scale natural minor fifth is for supporting diminished and augmented chords same as we saw earlier we have one more option this transposes the third and seventh let's preview it Dorian fifth is for diminished and augmented. These are the settings in entity type. There is another option for the bass track. This is entity bass. It is off for the other tracks. With the bass track, it is on by default. This option is tricky because in the normal case, there is no difference in the chord generation. I'll show it with another style. I hope the bass notes are audible. If not, please use a headphone. Let me mute the other tracks. The entity bass is in action when the fingering mode is fingered on bass. To change the fingering type, press the direct access button and then press the fill or accompaniment button. It is multi finger now. I'm changing it to fingered on bass. Now, based on the type of chord I select here, the bass note will play differently. If I select a chord in an inversion, the bass note will be the lower one of the chord type I selected. On the display you can see the chord is a slashed chord. But if I play the chord in root position, the slash chord is gone. I'm changing it back to multi finger. Now even if I play the chord in inversions or in root position, the bass note will be the same. This is the effect of entity bass. That's it about NTR and NTT. I hope this video was helpful to understand the different chord generation options. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section. I'll try to answer them. So thanks for watching this video. See you in the next one.